All right, a very good morning to you once again and warm welcome to there's a very new feature here on Morning Live. So this morning we introduce you to our profile slot. That's where we'll try to get personal with the prominent people in South Africa. So we debut the slot this morning with someone who needs no introduction. His name is Kendi Kunen. He's a self-proclaimed king of all things extravagant and he's no stranger to the media of course so the self-made entrepreneur has been quiet for quite a while now many know him as a flamboyant flesher of his fortune but he has recently denounced the lifestyle of blessings and blessees despite his story with multiple women so this morning we get close and personal with him please do join our discussions this morning at morning live sabc let's use hashtag kinikunene Post your questions there and we'll be able to get through to, to them here on the show. I think it's only fair for me to say cheers. Good morning to Morning Live. Cheers. Good morning. And thank you so much and, for your time. And good morning to your viewers. Thank and you very much. And the slot. How fortunate is that? <laughs> <laughs> I always said the trends. You said that. You do, eh? You do know. We see that. But just before we get to, to the details, Brakeni, mm -hmm. who is Kenny Kunen? Um, I... I'm a former co-founder of EFF. I'm a former co-founder of Patriotic Alliance. At the moment, uh, I see myself as a businessman. Uh, I have gotten out of politics. A lot of people, especially uh, my critics, have said I'm a failed politician. Um, I see myself as a businessman. I see myself as a, as, as a giver, as a helper of those who are in need. I see myself as an empowerer of young people to realize their dreams. And uh, that, is, that is my focus. That is Kenny Kune, yes. a guy from Kutwanong Odendal Stress. Kutwanong Odendal Stress, Block 1, Gozola. Hi. Now, you're saying that your critics refer to you as a faked politician. Mm -hmm. Are you a faked politician? Um, I don't believe that people fail. I believe that people move on, mm -hmm. especially if uh, what they have started has become successful. So there is no failure. What are you implying? Um, I, 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 I co-founded EFF as a politician. And yes, EFF, it has become successful. I co-founded Patriotic Alliance. Yes, Patriotic Alliance is successful. So whatever that I touch becomes successful. So I, 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 I did not fail. I moved on. Okay, now still on the politics issues, there has been a lot of speculation on why you left um, the EFF. What is the real reason? that made you leave the, the political party, EFF? Um, before I even get to that, uh, I'm not a politician as, I, as I'm speaking here. Mm. But I have, you were a politician. Yes, right. I have left politics. Okay. However, uh, I believe that if you do not participate or comment on politics, even if from a distance, you end up being governed by your inferiors. As we, as we can see in Johannesburg Metro now, the type of mayor that we have. So um, I still continue to comment on politics. Um, I, one of the reasons uh, that I left EFF is exactly what is happening now in the EFF. Uh, the lies, um, the, 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 the facade that is being put to the people of South Africa and the world that there's a revolutionary movement, that the leader is a revolutionary man, whereas he is actually the biggest liar. In fact... Uh, he called me a liar after the local elections. And uh, when, uh, after we, we had said that he had gone to Mozambique. However, I had invited him on many occasions to show his passport. And he's the type of guy, uh, Julius Selo Malema. He's the, sorry, Judas Selo Malema. He is the type of guy who, when he is, uh, 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 something is said about him, he always challenges people to public uh, uh, debate or public scrutiny. Mm -hmm. when, he was, when it was alleged that he's got AIDS, he said he's challenging anyone who says that to a public test. Now, I am challenging him to show his passport publicly. By the way, I would like to challenge him to a public debate mm -hmm. so that uh, when I, 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 I highlight the details of why I left EFF, they don't say that they did not have a, a right of reply. All right. I'm challenging to a public debate so that the, what made me leave EFF, I can highlight it in front of him and we can debate it and the nation can determine who is a liar between me 
and Judas sell out Malema. You know what, we, that's where we're just going to put a hold on. We'll be continuing this discussion. Please do join the discussion with us at Morning Live SAPC, hashtag Kenyukunene. Any question that you would want us to pose to Kenyukunene, he is here to respond to them. We'll be continuing the discussion just after the 7.30 News headlines with Sinpiwe.